Hey, what's up, guys? This is Wicked Android HD, and from now on, uh, I won't post as much as I did before in the previous uh, period of time because school started and uh, have really uh, hard exams coming up in the following months. So I'll make it a kind of an episode a week like this when I'll be flashing a ROM if it's necessary. Um, so it's uh, it's uh, gonna be posted on uh, Friday night or on in the weekend so that's when I will be able to post this kind of reviews and tutorials today I have the honor to show you ILB's Lolly ROM version 6 uh, I had a request to make this kind this um, video review because I heard that um, this is actually a stable one uh, let me show you the build number okay so it's based on 501 uh, it's running Imperium kernel version 2.6 I actually believe that the 2.7 is out so OH2 base LB is 95 loaded loaded, loaded ROMs 6.0 so um, you might be wondering if it's better than uh, one on light not sorry not one on light cushion Cushion because I had uh, because the developer said that this is how you pronounce it's his name Cushion um, light version of uh, this uh, build build number the OH2 that's what I'm talking about so if it's better if if this ROM is better than that one um, it depends if you are that guy that likes to have all the features including some optional ones like toolbox which, I'm, which I'll get into it later download booster side key panel and these kind of features you should try this because um, they are not included in that right light ROM the Cushion ROM version 7 Lite on the other hand if you ha if you have all the features you may experience some lag from time to time it's not really necessary here because we're running custom kernel with full chat support with uh, tweaks custom tweaks but uh, in time as time uh, passes you will experience some lags now this ROM comes in two versions, two main versions. First of all is a Diodex version, which allows you to customize your device more easily, but it slows down the device a bit. The first boot will take up to 20 minutes. And this version that I'm currently running here now is the Odex version. And it's uh, faster, the apps will, will open faster, the boot the first boot will take only two minutes that's an improvement and that that's really cool if you ask me but with uh, not everything uh, has to be pink with this version the Odex version the Odex version I mean not the Odex the Odex this one that uh, I'm currently running the Odex version of this ROM won't allow you to uh, run an exposed framework since you can customize anything related to the framework and uh, especially the exposed framework which is really bad um, speaking of the battery life take a look at the uh, percentage here at the beginning of the video it was 95 percent and right now after five minutes it's 94 which is pretty awesome if you ask me taking in mind that this is a lollipop ROM and um, from my experience all lollipop ROMs tend to eat a lot of battery and a lot of ROM speaking of ROM, random access memory it eats 138 of 178 but uh, you may optimize it with some tweaks not gonna get into that right now but uh, if you want some further information Visit XDA, you'll find every single 
thick and solution there. Now let's get into the main features of this ROM and what is different from another from Cushion kernel for example Cushion ROM for example. So the first um, thing you'll notice is uh, this button here, toolbox. You may already notice you can customize it. Sorry, you can go and edit right this and you can set up as many apps as you want to let's say what sorry I have to disable some of these. Magnify what the fuck. Select at least one application. Yeah, that's logical. Um, you can open as many apps as you want. I think five, <laughs> not as many as you want. But it's really nice to have it, you know, if you want to uh, open calculator, you just click this and you are, you are ready to go. You don't have to enter a drawer to search for the calculator, what the hell is the calculator app, uh, here is it. Anyway, I noticed, as we noticed, the icons are changed. You won't be able to customize the phone entirely like you can on the Galaxy X6, but you'll be able to customize if you are... Uh, if you like touch with launcher you'll be able to customize the icons and by that I mean like this one so here you can get as many themes as you want they are available on Google on Samsung Galaxy store and uh, you can switch from um, to jump from Samsung basic to craft to G3 and I'm currently running project noble which is like this um, yeah, let's get back into the main features. You can have download booster, which may help you if you have an unlimited carrier data, data, which will boost your download speed up to 50%, which is great. This is a feature that was integrated in the Galaxy S5, if you remember. Side key panel is this kind of panel that uh, helps you if your buttons uh, have a function or doesn't really work. Don't really work the buttons. The buttons right down below. Um, who the fuck put this here? It was set by default. But if you slide up like this, you'll be able to get like this without a press of this single button on the multi multi window, not multi window, recent tab panel. And uh, if we got into the uh, recent tab panel, I will show you if there is any kind of lag present in the recent tab panel. As always, we open tons of apps, tons of apps, yeah. Metaphorically speaking, tons of apps, settings. We have also Smart Manager, which is a really cool application to manage either the battery or storage or ROM or the device security, which is deactivated right now. Uh, S2X, in order to customize the kernel settings, it needs root permission. This uh, ROM co also comes with root. So by default, the, the default settings uh, make a great combination with the battery life. 92% right now, great. Let's take a look at the multi-window. It lags a bit, but not that uh, not that bad, as you may see. Lags a bit, but not that much. Um, as um, as you may see, you have the recent tab panel uh, accessible by pressing the option key and also by pressing the, the home key you'll get into Google now. Um, let's get back to the features. We have also Torch, which works perfectly as you may see. So integrated in the tools menu. You can customize those as much as you want. Uh, speaking of the poor saving mode, uh, this is also a minus because I know all of you guys want to have the magic ultra power saving mode, which will not actually work greatly on this device because it was meant to work on the Galaxy S5 or the Galaxy S6 and because it's a ported application I don't trust it at all. So. It may improve your battery, but uh, it also may not, so it may not work. So it's not such a big deal if you don't have ultra power saving mode. Although you have this beautiful, simple ultra power, uh, power saving mode, which will 
decrease your CPU performance, screen output, and will disable haptic feedback. And it will also enable grayscale mode if you want, because uh, if the screen is darker, we all know that AMOLED screen is eating less battery if the screen is darker. So that's why the device is running a custom theme on CM, like a dark one, or even on this, uh, on not on this RAM, on uh, if running a dark wallpaper, if you know, even on this ROM, the battery will improve, uh, not that much, but uh, you'll feel the difference, by the way, either way. So, speaking of the lock screen, you have uh, some beautiful locking effects, which are perfectly working. Ink in water, I'll get to all of them. Shimishi. We have some lag, but uh, that's because of the fact that these are ported from either Note devices or the Galaxy S5 or the Galaxy S6 as you may see we have some little lag while unlocking the device I'll stick with the default one because nothing is better than this you know, fast, fast unlocking uh, system um, another thing that should be mentioned I don't think that there are more um, so think that's it let's take a look at how uh, a phone call looks like so I'll call my carrier number to show to shoot to send me a message with um, how much megabytes do I have left for the following period of time let me see this is how a message looks like let's take a look at notification in the lock screen this is how it looks like and you saw we have here this little thingy right here that shows you how many messages you haven't read so yep my statistics really nice and clean um, if you long press on this you'll get into these options yeah home screen settings and there's only one setting yeah and well done Samsung um, Wallpapers, we have a bunch of wallpapers here, pre-installed widgets. So, to sum up, uh, I wouldn't say that this ROM is better than Cushion. I would say that it's a matter of um, what you think it, uh, it fits the best to you, because um, Cushion Lite is a very fast and optimized ROM, believe me. And this Albi, this Lolly ROM made by Albi95, uh, is Lollipop ROM that has most of the features uh, from other devices like Galaxy S6 or the Note devices, as I said before. Um, it's not as fast because it may be a slightly difference because. Cushion ROM runs Cushion kernel, which may be better than Imperium kernel, but Cushion kernel doesn't have fast charge, and this one uh, benefits a fast, char fast charge. So, yeah, it's a matter of taste to me. I won't uh, tell what I prefer because I won't uh, stick to Lollipop, not right now, not in the following months. This is purely a review talking about how this performs and um, yeah that was it guys i hope you like it if you did please make sure you thumbs up and subscribe right down to my channel uh, this is week android hd and i'll see you next week next friday thank you for watching week android is out bye bye